Hello friends, welcome back. And now last point is about the custom feed. So we can also add custom feeds here. Like uh, WordPress have a default feeds. So for example, um, I have I have made some changes. So let me just refresh it again. Okay. Now I have commented the code. Um, for example, this is my uh, first post, uh, kid movie. I want this um, single post movie. So feed so i will just pass the feed and it will give me this uh, feed rss feed here okay and you can also have this uh, different different feed for example atom here is the atom so you will get the atom uh, feed here similarly rss rss2 also we have okay so how we can add a custom feed if you want the custom feed in the uh, we well, like if we have any custom markup xml feed markup structure then how we can do this so uh, we can use this add feed function okay add feed function then add the name of the feed i have added a custom hyphen feed and then the callback function so whenever the custom feed uh, have been uh, uh, the re custom feed request uh, requested then this callback function will be executed so how this like when you go to the add feed it will create a hook called do underscore feed underscore feed name whatever the feed name we have passed which is a custom feed here okay and then it will uh, remove any action default function action and then add it uh, our function as a callback function and our callback function is uh, mlb do custom feed will be executed here and this is just i have added a sample for displaying with how this uh, callback function executed and just rendered this um, little bit of the xml content okay so this way you can add a custom feed so for example this is the custom feed uh, let me also show you how it's been added to rewrite rules so it will be added to every rewrite rule okay so let's uh, go here plus the changes okay now um, go back to the second page and refresh it okay so now um, you can see the custom feed search for the custom feed okay yeah okay i think this is the, uh, not visible it's uh, i don't know why it's uh, we have added 20 pixel but still it's not visible clearly no worries okay so um, here you can see the custom feed okay and this is the feed url after that there could be a feed then rdf rss rs2 atom and our custom feed okay and this of uh, whatever the rewrite rules support for the custom feed it will be there and based on this uh, request like if there is a category archive page you can create a feed for custom feed for your uh, category archive page similarly for tag archive page similar for the default person post type or the people post type all the custom post types and custom taxonomies will have this uh, custom feed supported okay and you can you can do that uh, like you can handle that based on that current request okay so um so whenever your custom feed uh, so relay tools have been added so whenever you request for a custom feed so i'm just on comment comment and out this and go here and uh, what i will do is that here i will add a custom feed okay um it's not generating okay it's been added multiple times let me just open some other few posts for example block button and uh, added a feed and custom feed sorry my okay i may have to add custom feed only custom feed no it's uh, once it's browser redirecting okay so our url have been working but um i have to use something else maybe the block image if one says the redirect custom custom feed okay it's been redirected so here you can see the custom feed our callback function but why it's added multiple times that i do not understand it shouldn't be added multiple times here okay uh let me just check what i have did it wrong 
um, we have added a custom feed called a function and it will just do a like add the rewrite rules simply here in the feeds and uh, let me also review this template url for example refresh pages now you can we can have a custom feed here so either i can pass feed or or the custom feed here so i don't want to have pass feeds let something so um custom feed so let me open to something uh, category classic i think let's this okay it's been it's asked for the download download it i have tried this uh, examples previously before recording this video so let me just close this one uh, let me get this uh, see instead of the classic let me use okay i can pass the query string here to avoid the redirection oh it's still adding the redirection okay my bad uh, let me op use this some other uh, seek then slash block block slash then custom feed so here block is the custom text uh, okay it's still asking for the uh, it's still asking for me the redirect i think the header part is not working so when if i open it here you can see oh my bad sorry it's uh, uh, my bad my bad i have to i have to this because of this it's not working my bad uh, okay now if i uh, if i go to here again and see class custom feed and pass the 14 now now you it, it says this one uh, xml feed it's just an empty so so this way the url structure is working i have passed this just to avoid the uh, rewrite uh, redirections because i have tried similar examples previously so that's why it's redirecting okay so when you uh, add a custom feed at the end of the url of any like single post type single movie post type or the single page or the any archive pages then it will uh, it will render your uh, it will execute your custom callback function of the custom feed and it will response this of uh, whatever the feed uh, you have generated okay and similarly like uh, if you understand if you want to understand in a better way so go to here i will search with this do feed uh, here and uh, you can see this actions have been there this do action has been called on this uh, the do feed function okay and it's checking whether the feed query will exist and whatever the feed query will have a value uh, it will uh, it will generate this one so for example um, if i go back here into in this here and if i print uh, wp class object okay and it should uh, okay it's uh, okay i have did it on template redirect i have to do on uh, for example parse request because template redirect won't be executed at action um so refresh now okay so now you can see that uh, this category this url match where we have custom feed and then it's a category name classic and the feed query where we'll have this custom feed value okay so this so um using uh, using this function um sorry in this function uh it it uses the get query where so it will uh it will get the query where function method from the wp query or the wp uh, class because same query was also set to the uh, wp query wa uh, variable okay and it will check whether this feed uh, query where exists and if it's not empty and based then the whatever name is there it will call this dynamic action so do underscore feed underscore our custom feed okay and it will passing this to whether it's a comment feed or whether and it will pass the feed name and and these two arguments will be passed to your callback function okay uh, currently i haven't go get those two arguments it's fine and here you can execute it so if you go if you check the default uh, for example this do action rdf okay so it will load feed uh, feed rdf file from the wp includes folder so if i go here uh, if you see this is the feed rdf 
so this file will uh, render all your custom uh, idf custom uh, idf feed based on this uh, based on it will uh, it you can see you can go through this code base and definitely will like uh, know more how it uh, identify the request get the post and then just uh, generate this feed and then there is a feed rss then feed rss to also there is a uh, rss to comments feed for the comments only okay so you can you can go through this one too okay so this way you can add a custom feed if if it's required or based on some use cases there are multiple there are some use cases where we need some custom feed options okay um so yeah that's all about the rewrite api functions um i hope you know now you will understand how we can add a custom rewrite role how we can change the permalink structure of the movie okay how we can add a custom feed how what are the could be the use cases for where we can use this rewrite endpoint or the rewrite tag okay so this way all this rewrite api functionality work in the wordpress okay so you can you can try this out after this video so um, i hope you now you have better understanding about the rewrite api and uh, and it will help you to achieve some custom functionality okay so yeah that's all about the rewrite api uh, thanks for watching this video see you on our next one joy wordpress